Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic. Denmark have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And that gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I would say Seamus Coleman is no slacker. He spends as much time in the opposition's half as he does his own. And when he commits forward, he's prepared to go the whole way. And it's earned him his fair share of goals too, so watch out for that. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. He's left his man, and the weighted pass. <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Hendrick plays it out to the flank. There'll be a throw in. has gone out long lobs it in gently uh, ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance on it oh, that's a foul free kicks been given oh, managed to get it away Ward. out to the left it goes and it's Ward in towards the centre Ericsson goes looking Hendrick loose ball, who's going to get there? surely he scored, can he put it away? good stop, that wasn't easy oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling, his reflexes were ultra sharp there are a few waiting for it Want to throw in? Schoener going full steam ahead down the left flank. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. McLean aimed long and direct. Ward. No goals as yet. And it's Ward. Cuts it out. 
Clark does well there, alert. Tries to get it forward quickly. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Here we go again. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, the ball's... Has a pop! And he's there to make a great save. Long really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Looking to shoot! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Ericsson! Clark knocks it away. And that's been won straight back. And the shot! Really well taken goal. Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So we have our breakthrough. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Ward. Arta. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. Ah, oh, he's given it away! Pulsen. Long. Arta. It's a promising ball. Is it in? Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Ericsson swung over. And that's been levered clear. It was on the back foot. Now it's long. Going through. Victor Fischer pushes it out wide. A really good feat. Eric's towering header. Can he put it away? He has done it. Two to the good. They have breathing space. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. So the ball's got out of play, and a change is upcoming. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Brady. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. And it's shown. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. He's dealt with that well. It's Fisher! It's Fisher! 
Ireland making consecutive changes here. Going for goal! Out of play for a goal kick. Played out to the right. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Arta. They really are proving themselves to be solid all over the field. Ericsson, now the counter. Forward it goes. Arta, aimed long and direct. Plays it through, breaks on here, has a swing at it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Question. And that will be the final act. Denmark always looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results.